your national service, that's to get some in. They'll tell you now if you ask your dad to get some in. So leave your mummy's loving arms, there's no way you can win. You're victim of your corporal's charm, so get some in. The rat's got two years of your life, now isn't that a sin? There's only one way to get out, and that's to get some in. In New York today, the world heavyweight champion Rocky Marciano agreed to defend his title against the British champion Don Cockle in May. At home, the fuel crisis continues. Sir Anthony Eden again called on the nation to make sacrifices. What do you think I'm doing? Speaking in Guildhall today. Stone the crows, it was cold on that square today. It couldn't be any colder than this house. Do you know what this house suffers from? Frozen condensation, that's what. At this rate, we'll have indoor icicles soon. Look, Alice, Sir Anthony Eden is deeply concerned. He said so. Well, if he's so concerned, get him to send us a bag of coke. Oh, don't be silly. Why silly? He's supposed to be a big mate of yours. Oh, I didn't say he was a mate, Alice. I said I saw him once. You said he spoke to you in the cookhouse at R.A. Fensford. Well, he spoke to all of us. He said, any complaints? <laughs> That's not the story you told when Rini came round. You said you had a long conversation. Then he wrung your hand and said, You always know where to find me, Percy. Mm -hmm. Now move your backside and let me see the fire. Oh, look, Alice, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our love to keep us warm, haven't we? I'd sooner have a bag of coke. If it was humanly possible, I'd nick you a bag of coke. But you should see that fuel compound up the camp. There's guard dogs everywhere. It's like Fort Knox. Searchlights, if it was... Are you sitting on something? Only me bum. <laughs> well, what's wrong with this chair, then? I've cut the legs off to burn. You done what? But that, that is air ministry property. I could get put in a glass house for this. Well, it might be warmer there. <laughs> I never thought that you would stoop to blackmail, Alice. What are you talking about, Percy? You are as good as telling me that if I don't get you some coke, you will burn our lovely home from under us. Yes, I will. All right. I'll get you some coke. I'll get you some flaming coke from somewhere. Good. And if your mate Anthony Eden shows his face in this house, I'll chuck his hat on the fire. <laughs> Oi, put the wood in the hole. I definitely do not like jankers. Jankers is definitely something I do not care for at all. Not one iota. Or jot. Or even tittle. Never mind, sir. It's your last parade of the day, innit? Yes. We've lowered the flag. Stiff as a board, it was. <laughs> How many days have your sentence left, Ken? Two. But I don't really care anymore. Oh, God, it's affected his mind. No. The reason I do not care is because I got a letter from Agnes. My sister? How is she? Wonderful. She wrote, love Agnes, at the bottom of the letter. Oh, you and your tarts. <laughs> you better watch who you're calling a tart, Smith. All right, killer. All right. <laughs> well, Agnes is a wonderful person. She's just wonderful. She wrote, love Agnes, at the bottom. <laughs> no, did she really? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, she's... Wonderful. I think she and Simon will get on famously, you know. Simon? Who's Simon? Uh, the Reverend Simon Spratt, Agnes's fiance. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, didn't you know she was engaged? No? But she put Love Agnes at the bottom. Look, I used to put Love Jakey when I wrote to my probation officer. But that means that's all for Love of her, didn't it? Blimey. She must have weighed 40 stone. And she had a glass eye. <laughs> well, I don't understand. Look, Ken, I wouldn't want you to think badly of Agnes. Her motives were purely Christian. She just thought you might like a pen friend. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Full strength. And that's all it is, sunshine. I see. Well, I suppose the best man won. And I hope she'll be very happy with the Reverend Sprout. Sprout? Sprout. <laughs> well, I'll say this. That's finished me with women. Come on, you never even started. <laughs> I've been around, Jakey. You haven't? Well, I thought I was starting to go around. 
Cheer up, he's Bruce with the coat. Oh, no. And they say the Scots are mean. Stand to count the number of lumps they give you now. Never mind, let's get the old stove going. There's nothing like a good old busy to cheer the spirit. Don't get too excited. We can't even light the stove till 20 hundred hours. Who says? Standing order says. Got to conserve fuel, they reckon. You can get a chimney inspection detail going round, and any hut with smoke coming out of his chimney before 20 hundred hours gets charged, or mutilated, or massacred, or something. So what we're supposed to do in the meantime? Freeze? Aye. Mind you, the pleasure of anticipation is almost as good as the thing itself. With tarts, possibly, with fires, no. <laughs> it can be. There she goes. Crackle, crackle. <laughs> By Joe, that's warming me through and through. <laughs> crackle. Spit. <laughs> You've got a pretty good imagination, haven't you? I suppose I have, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, how would you like to imagine a size nine up your behind? <laughs> Stand by your beds! Cold, isn't it, lads? You can see that again, Corporal. All right, Sporonet, if you want me to. <laughs> cold, isn't it, lads? Yes, Corporal. I'll tell you what is really rotten, though. You can't even light your stove for another hour. Yeah, diabolical, I'll call it. I'll call it handy. How's that, then? It gives me a chance to nick your coke ration, don't it? Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, Did I hear raised voices? Yeah, you can't walk in and nick our coke. Oh, yes, I can, Ted, because that is what I am doing. But, Corporal, that's our whole ration till tomorrow. Oh, there you are, you see. You've touched my heart again, Matthew. <laughs> I must be made a marshmallow or something. I can't just walk out of the up with all your coke, can I? Burn that. <laughs> Fun, isn't it, Jankers? Yes, Corporal. No, I mean, seriously, it's very witty, isn't it? The way they give you a toothbrush instead of a paintbrush, you've got to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're laughing. Good afternoon, Mrs. Fairfax. I trust your husband, the squadron leader, is very well. Very well, thank uh, you. Because, you see, I have a high regard for your husband, madam. Thank you. Oh, not at all, madam. Highly parky today, isn't it, madam? Yes, it is, rather. Uh, uh, hold on a moment, madam. I can hardly let you carry a heavy receptacle like that. Oh, how kind. Not at all, madam. Emman, carry the lady's bag! Oh! <laughs> yes, Corporal. Thank you. How very sweet of you. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'd never darned socks before national service. Yeah, well, you ain't darning them now. That looks like a big woolly blister. <laughs> well, it's either that or buy a new pair, and I've only got eightpence. Give them here. I'll do them for you. Thank you, Jakey. You know you try to disguise it, but basically you're a very kind-hearted person. Yeah, I know. Eightpence. <laughs> <laughs> Long jank up tonight, wasn't it? No. Just went for a little walk afterwards. What, in this weather? You're mad. Walk? Where is it a walk in this manky dump? Oh, down by the officers' quarters. Down that way. Why? No reason. Ha! <laughs> See, your little trick didn't work, Jakey. See, so just pinched the coat again. Yeah, well, he ain't been yet. Well, where is it? Thanks. <laughs> it's a terrific ruse, isn't it? <laughs> if it works. Oh, here he comes. Stand by, bits! Hello, lads. It's the robber baron again. Ah, now there's a funny thing. No coke. I know you collected your ration because I saw old cute nasty coming along the road with it. But there's no coke in the bucket. You know what I think? I think you are a lot of little tinkers. I think you are hiding it somewhere. Now, where would you hide coke? Of course, I spy with my little eye. Obvious place! No, it's not in there. You've got a big mouth, Ted. Open it. <laughs> no, 
It's not in there. <laughs> Got it. You've hidden it in your wardrobes. <laughs> on the command, all the contents of your lockers and wardrobes on the floor. Move! No, no, you done me there. It's quite exciting, isn't it, Matthew? Yes. No, <laughs> well, I think it is. Knocks 20 questions into a cocktail any day. <laughs> well, where, where, where? I know. You've in it under your mattresses. On the command, all bedding on the floor. Move! <laughs> Oh, dear, 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 you are a lot of little tinkers. <laughs> but I'll say this for you. You certainly pulled one over on me. Well, good luck to you. If you've learnt enough to pour the wool over an old sweat like me, you deserve to keep your coat. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Lily, uh, do us a favour, lad. Pop over to nothing and get us a couple of wads, will you? Well, certainly, Corporal Leg and Cress. Uh, lovely. Just a minute, lad. I can't have you going over there in your plimp soles. You'll catch a death of cold. Put your boots on. No, it's, it's all right, Corporal. Egg and Cress. What's Lily, I would not enjoy Egg and Cress with the thought of you having freezing plates. Put your boots on. No, really, I... Lily, put your boots on. I can run faster in plimp soles. Lily, put your little booties on and that is an order! <laughs> All of you. That's it. And I'll tell you something. If my wife gets foot rot off this coke, you're all on a charge. There's only one way to get out, and that's to get some in. Get some in. See him nick that lot. Here, Bruce, is he coming yet? No, I can't see him yet, but he's out there somewhere. I can smell him. <laughs> right, on your bed, stay casual. All right, everybody, the body, move! The man from Laramie. <laughs> the man with so many notches on his gun. Stand by your beds! Everyone admired the fearless stranger. Shut it! <laughs> Frankie Lane. <laughs> ah, I see my coke's arrived. I wouldn't take that if I was you, Corporal. What did you say? I said I wouldn't take that if I was you, Corporal. <laughs> Superman has a big S on his chest. <laughs> I have these. <laughs> you don't tell me to do nothing. We're not telling you, Corporal. We're simply warning you. <laughs> Well, coming from you, Matthew, that scares the living daylights out of me. <laughs> what are you going to do? Hit me with your article? It's not just him, Corporal. We're all in it. So, bringing in foreign mercenaries and all that. <laughs> Look, Corporal, I've been sort of elected to put the whole thing succinctly. Yes, I thought it'd be you, you puff house in barrack room lawyer. <laughs> well, come on then, succinct at me! Well, the plain fact is, Corporal, that you have simply been stealing our coke and have been for some days. That's true. Well, it's not fair. That's true and all. And what we're saying is this. If you take that bucket full as well, we are going to report you. Who to? Billy Graham? The Royal Air Force Police. <laughs> oh, I see. So you get the provos out and get them down my house, open up my coke bunker and say, there you are, that's our coke. Yes. And I suppose you're going to claim to recognise it by the shape of the lumps. Proof, Puffhouse, you haven't got any! Oh, yes, we have. <laughs> Stand by your beds! Would you?
you believe it, I have decided to have a snap hut inspection. Very good. <laughs> no? If there was going to be a bit of fluff under anyone's bed, it would have been yours, Lily, but it is absolutely fluffless. <laughs> Spotless. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to get you on anything at all, does it? Oh, what a shame. You've let yourselves down at the last hurdle again. Filthy coke! Look at it! Paint all over it! <laughs> <laughs> well, don't stand there like a load of petrified puddings! Clean it! <laughs> Get your fly toys in now! <laughs> Hello, Jakey. Hey! What are you doing down this way? A uh, shortcut back from the stores. Bit of your cars at cleaning equipment, aren't I? I thought I was the only one on Jankers. <laughs> yeah, Marsh gave us all extra fatigues, didn't he? <laughs> Why? A little prank, he called it. It's swine. <laughs> See, none of this is right, is it? They're supposed to be trainers to be airmen, not skivvies. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. <laughs> this is Mrs Fairfax's garden. <laughs> oh, oh, that's different here. Mm. She's wonderful. Yeah, I suppose you've been in there checking her up, having a cocktail like you do with tarts, have you? Well, I haven't actually seen her yet. Bloody torrid, this affair, innit? Well, done. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a bit of this behind your ears. That's ammonia. Yeah. Oh, what a stink. It does stink, doesn't it? Yes. Something terrible. <laughs> See ya. Airman? Mrs Fairfax? Come in and have a cup of tea. You must be freezing. Oh, gosh. You don't say very much, do you? Sorry. Um, I swallowed a fly once. <laughs> Did you? Mm. Have a biscuit. No, thank you. <laughs> well. Yes? Uh, do you have a girlfriend? No. Oh, I did have. But we broke it off. Her name was Agnes. Oh, I'm sorry. Had you been going out long? Well, we never went out at all, actually. <laughs> you have wonderful biscuits, Mrs Fairfax. Thank you. Well, do you like RAF Skelton? Oh, I didn't at first. But recently it's got a lot better. Good. Apart from the cold, of course. Oh, yes, this wretched fuel crisis. Well, you're not cold, are you? Oh, no. Uh, we've got central heating. I was thinking of you. Were you? Yes. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're not cold. Oh, how very gallant. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Of course, uh, you do have stoves in your huts, don't you? Oh, yes. But somebody keeps pinching our coke. Oh, how terrible. Well, that's the law of the jungle, I'm afraid. Mm. Yes. Just a minute. Come here. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Fairfax? On the top shelf. Mrs. Fairfax, I... Look! <laughs> on the top shelf. Oh! <laughs> There's an electric fire up there, isn't there? Oh, but this? Yes. It's for you. Oh, Mrs. Fairfax, you're so kind. You're so... 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 Oh, that must be my husband. Oh, God! Um, I'll get back into the garden. Oh. Um, oh, ah. Thank you. Sorry.
snap. <laughs> Hello, lads. Marsh pinched the coke again. Of course. Yeah. Think this might help. They are one electric fire. Oh, don't stand here admiring it. Plug it in. Go on. I wish you'd unplug it all up. Where on earth did you get it from, Ken? Mrs. Fairfax gave it to me. Oh, tell you something. She is wonderful. What is she? She's, She's wonderful. wonderful. Uh, all right, Ken's here now. What's this big secret of yours? Oh, yeah, right. Gentlemen. <laughs> I have an announcement to make. As you all know, Corporal March has half inched our coke again. Rotter. Steady, Matthew. <laughs> However, before he walks off with it, yours truly did add his own secret ingredient to it. Yeah? What? Half a bottle of Kazi cleaner. <laughs> Ammonia! Ammonia. <laughs> well, that makes two secret ingredients, cos I did one. What's yours? Well, let's just say it's a present from my mate down the armory. <laughs> Ovaltine, my queen. <laughs> Come on, love. Come and snuggle up. Right. <laughs> oh, I'll just bung some of today's coke on. Just like it used to be round my mum's before we got married in tea. Oh, even better. She's not here sitting in the chair clicking her false teeth, is she? No. <laughs> it did spoil the mood a bit. <sighs> Do you know who you look like by firelight, Alice? No, Percy, who? The Shah S of Persia with blonde hair. <laughs> do I? <sighs> who do I look like, Alice? Johnny Ray. He's got a deaf aid. Not the shaped ears, though. True. <laughs> Percy. Yes, my love. Have you changed your socks recently? <laughs> of course, three days ago. Oh. I can definitely smell something. Ignore it, Alice. God, I can't stand this! Is that remark directed at me? Yes! It must be something you brought in from that stinking camp! The only thing I brought in was myself, and I am odourless. Look, go have a bath! You go and have a bath! Oh, I can't stand this. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. It's freezing cold now. Well, I'd sooner freeze to death than get gas by you. It is not me! No, look, I'm not standing here arguing in a force-eight gale. I'm gonna be. It's only one place left to go. You're quite right, my darling. Let's forget our differences and snuggle up together. I'd sooner snuggle up to an open drain. All right. Sleep on your own. You'll soon see which one of us it is that smells when you get under the bedclothes with yourself. Oh, charming! I thought so. It's better down here already. I'm the winner, Alice. I'm the winner. I'm the one with the open fire! I'm the one with the coke! <laughs> it's time for a national service, man, so get some in. They'll tell you now if you are so mad to get some in. So leave your mouth is laughing on, there's no way you can win. You'll think you've also got a chance to get some in. So you're in the R.A.F. Two years of your life now is a bad sin. There's only one way to get out.